What up? Tyler here, TarverAcademy.com. I want to hit you with what deductive reasoning is. Deductive reasoning is coming to a logical conclusion by utilizing facts. Okay, um, so essentially what you're going to do is you're going to show steps to how you're solving a problem and the reason those are the facts that allow you to do that. Another way you like to see people do this is writing proofs. You don't see that as much anymore, but um, we like to call it deductive reasoning. So it's utilizing and solving an equation or breaking something down and then using facts, using logical things that you can prove. That's deductive reasoning, okay? So um, we want to solve negative 4b plus 9 plus b and then I want to show reasons for why I'm able to do it. We're going to utilize a lot of the, I'm sorry, Mr. Eraser. We're going to utilize a lot of the, um, the formulas and properties that, uh, it's not formulas, but the properties that we used earlier in the chapter. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is the, um, I need to get this to where there's a number in front of that B. And so I'm going to do negative 4B plus 9 plus 1B. All right, all I've done from this problem to here is I've put a one in front of the B. It looks like 16, but it's a B, sorry. All right, um, now the property that we utilize for that, if you remember, is the identity property, let's do ID, identity property of multiplication, which was, if you remember, um, anything times one is itself. And so I can put a 1 in front of it, I can add a 1 to it, uh, not add a 1 to it, I can multiply 1 times it, and it still would be itself, I'm not changing the problem because of that property. All right, next thing I want to do is I want to reorder this. I want to put it where I've got this over here, and something there, and there's something there. So I'm going to do negative 4b, I'm going to move this plus 1b plus 9. Now I want to think what property allows me to say that 9 plus 1b is the same as 1b plus 9, switching around. We're adding, so I know that um, addition is going to be involved, and I'm just moving stuff around, so that's only moving two things around, which is commutative. If I had to put three things in there, it would have been associative. You think, oh, well, there's three things there. I didn't move this, okay? I just moved that. So we're going to say that's the uh, commutative property of addition. Okay, um, now I want to pull, let's say I want to pull something out of this. Um, let's say I want to pull, uh, see, we don't want to pull, we don't want to pull, we don't want to pull, 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 pull. What can I pull out of this? The common thing here is the B. So let's say I want to pull the B out of all this. Multiply it out, negative 4 plus 1 plus 9. That's going to be our distributed property. I didn't distribute it in, I distributed it out. So it works both ways in the distributed property. Um, if you remember from previous things, that looks like a two E's. It's reasoning. Sorry, <laughs> my handwriting is garbage. Okay, um, and then I want to add these together, and I can make that the um, B, that'd be negative 3 plus 9. Oh, I forgot. This is distributed property. And then the last thing I did was I rearranged and added, and that'd be the, that's just addition. So that was not really a property. I just used addition, so it didn't say property in it. So that's more complicated. If you want to see um, a better explanation, in my opinion, of how I did that, just search Tyler Tarver, um, algebraic proofs or geometric proofs. They're killing it. They're killing it. Um, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for learning. Hey, it's me, Michael Jordan, Shoemaker. I want you to know that if you don't click that little circle there to subscribe, then uh, you won't ever find your true love. That's a fact. It's like an email letter, email chain letter. If you're not 45 years old, you will not get that joke. Not important. Wait, click that. Anyways, I'll wait.